We got a very special episode today. Actually, matter of fact, it was supposed to be more special. Right. It was supposed to be way more special, but I had to push back an hour. That's on me. I had to push back an hour, and then we lost our very special guest. We were going to have Mandy from Horrible Decisions here, a girl who was deeply affected by Alex's lies. Word. <laughs> 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 Word. Alex is blatant lies Word. and uh, mistrust. Word. Do you know what I mean? Right. And that's fabrications. What, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> nah, but in all seriousness, we had a fun prank on Wheezy a couple episodes, which you guys all heard. Um, Wheezy is the other girl from Horrible Decisions, where we were saying that Alex had sex with Mandy trying to get Wheezy jealous. Right. Mandy took it a certain way. Right. Okay. She, to be fair to Mandy, we probably should have said that they didn't have sex right after the prank was over. Right. But the prank kept kind of going throughout the episode. That's what so, we do. We draw well, out the laughs. Of course, we draw it all the way out. Yeah. All the way out. <laughs> so I wanted to have Mandy here so she could reconcile with Alex. Cause she was very upset at Alex. Okay? I don't know why. Listen, because you're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> okay? You're a pig. You're a pig. You're a monster. I didn't okay? say a goddamn thing that episode. Yeah, oh, oh, that that was the problem. <laughs> you didn't say enough. <laughs> Okay? You just let me go make it all these jokes. You just go not stop me? You are you're in law enforcement. That's you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Protect and serve. Protect bro. and serve. Ooh. Mandy's sitting there unprotected. And you violating. I'm I'm vi- oh, wait, what? Nah. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Wait, hold on now. Hold, wait, hold, hold on. Hold on a second. I'm not too crazy. <laughs> so all right. Street Alex term. comes here. What'd you say? The street term, violate. Oh, the street term. Oh, street Alex, term. Okay, cool. Alex com- comes here today, ready to reconcile, Akash. Is he not ready to He's reconcile? ready to reconcile. Akash, can you just begin to describe the outfit that Alex has worn? Alex has been known to wear some wild outfits. Alex looks like Ryan Gosling in The Notebook. Straight up and down. You know, Alex, what? you know what? That was the look I was going for. I knew for. it. Don't act like I don't know <laughs> that was the look movies. I was no, going yo, for. Yo, yo. Act like I ain't seen the, bro- the <laughs> no, notebook no. multiple times. Yo, you know what you look like? The legend of no swagger van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You ain't seen a jacket. <laughs> you, got, you got to come in front of the camera so they can see no swagger vans, what you look like. That's got to be a meme. Y'all got to get Alex that up. Alex, too brolic to be dressing like this. Yeah, I know your biceps don't even fit into blazers. Come over here. <laughs> Come over here, bro. Let's see the whole thing. Nah, this hides how brolic Alex is. You look oh, man, pure son. cuck. Dude, look at this shit right here, You can't here, even bro. get the... Oh, my God. You look like you're selling expensive real estate with other gay guys. <laughs> 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 Property bros. Literally bro. You look like he just got gay. <laughs> <laughs> Like you trying it out? Like yeah. you trying to turn your straight shit gay? He's just, he got some work khakis. Like let me roll it up, show some ankle. He got the boat shoes on. Come on, no, Al. It was a special episode, man. I wanted a son. The look guy nice brought, for our guest. The guy brought a dozen roses. It's actually very romantic and sweet of you, Alex. You're son, a good dude. I mean, roses. You like, brought roses. I'm a good person, man. I, I know was it making seem up that way. for the Andrew's guy, joke. The guy brought. <laughs> A croissant. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> With, I don't see what's romantic about a croissant. Yo, this, he bought variations. He My bought man got variations. almonds. <laughs> sweet and savory. Did, he got I a did. croissant sandwich. He got like two almond different croissant. types of croissants. Yo. Which I think is very disrespectful because you know how much she's been on a grind. With no, the weight but loss. that's nah, why I did nah. it. Nah, I was like, yo, she's been putting in so much work, and you see... You want a cheat day? Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, maybe if you didn't cheat on your dick a couple <laughs> weeks ago, <laughs> we wouldn't be in this predicament. Oh, man. You know what I mean? This guy's bringing croissants. He got the whole outfit. I mean, you just put a major... Alex effort. wanted to get in front of the camera today. He did, yo. Alex is tired of being behind the mic. Yo. Alex is tired of being just the producer. <laughs> He's tired of having nah. to tell that to people. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just the video man. I'm just the cameraman. Son, yeah. We get comments. We get comments on this. Room. Then they go, they go, we got to have like a little camera this on Alex oh, so yeah. we can see how he reacts. You know Alex be burning his eyes <laughs> looking at them comments. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, look at them comments like, oh, I got Schultz, I hope you see this. Yo, <laughs> yo, takes a screenshot, crops out that comment, sends it to his homies. Yo, they want me, dog. They need me. They need we should, me. Though. 
a little picture in picture with Alex would be yeah, good. Yeah, it might nah. be a little something. We gotta work some. We gonna give you a little uh, little GoPro. Nah, I like being the white video man. The white video <laughs> guy. Yeah, you're yeah. safe. You're safe I'm out safe. here in the streets, bro. I'm the only white guy who can say nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I already see the comments. I swear, at minute 11, Shul said the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway, so we're going to get Mandy here, probably when we're back from Burning Man. First of all, first of all, shouts to trans When are you going to Burning Man? Well, hopefully. <laughs> this motherfucker done ruined my year. Yo. One vacation a year. So don't like put this shit, shit on me, bro. That shit is I put my on. the address correctly. They fucked up. Nah. They I think up. Alex got scammed. Yo, we were I'm on pretty the same sure you website got together. I think you went to like a bogus website by accident or some shit. Basically, what happened? We get the bur- what happens is this: there's a lottery for the Burning Man tickets because everyone right. wants to get them for the cheap ones. The cheap ones like four hundred a pop. Right. I go on my phone. This is right after Brilliant Idiots. I go on my phone. I'm trying to get it, and basically, it's a little green man, and he's walking down the street. And when he gets to the end of the street, you get the tickets. My green man not even walking. <laughs> <laughs> My green man just looking at buildings, bro. This Motherfucker <laughs> seated on a bench. Bro, bro yeah, he found, he found he some place comfy. He's eating these croissants. <laughs> <laughs> he not going to Burning Man. He don't even want to go. <laughs> Alex's, Alex's walking man is f- like race walk. It is quick. Mm-mm. Well, I mean, he was probably black. He was black. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the difference after all, son. <laughs> Get him a cutaway. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> we're, we're, the guy's walking. My guy doesn't reach the end of the time. It goes, there's no more tickets. Alex, guys, reaches it. We get the tickets. Nobody gets the fucking tickets right. in the initial drawing. I'm telling you, it's rare. But I wasn't skeptical. I was like, maybe it's some diversity. Alex got great luck. Maybe it's low. Yeah, I really do have great luck, though. All right, all right, all right, son. All right, son. <laughs> I'm just saying. You all won right, a housing son. lottery. That's the New York City My fucking... My man stays winning That's the lotteries. Willy Wonka golden Word. ticket in New York City. Dude, It's the housing lottery. But imagine he and... played the real lottery. Like, this guy's <laughs> fucking around with Burning Man in an <laughs> apartment for 1500 Yo, a month. how you the <laughs> one black guy who don't million. play the lottery? Yeah, and you got <laughs> the all the fuck? black luck. You got the black, you win. Like, come on, bro. I need to. The other week, I won a lotto for Hamilton tickets. The gayest shit you can win the lotto Yo, for ever. You Yo, that luck, show bro. was amazing. No, it's a great show. That I cried listening to the album. I actually went to go see it. My homie was Hamilton. You know what's really Shout funny? Shout to Javon really? McFerrin. This is how phony comedians are, right? <laughs> you went to Hamilton? That's some bullshit. You went to <laughs> Hamilton? <laughs> no, it was actually pretty dope. Yeah, you're right. I'm not going to lie. I actually <laughs> went. My boy is actually Hamilton. So everything, we close to everything. Oh, My point is this. This shit's hot. Yeah, you get hot. Supposed to get the tickets, they don't show up. But Alex doesn't say anything to me. I'm like, yo, where the tickets at? Where the tickets at? Finally, you go. Yo, you be nagging about that shit too. You like a girlfriend with that shit. Oh my Son, god. Son, bruh, Cut. let me ask you a question. Bruh. Let me ask you a question. You oh know how god. much the RV yeah, costs? What, you know what a woman would do? You don't <laughs> ask me questions. You know what my girl would do? Mad questions. And they started just like that. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you a question. Ready? Yo, let right, me right. ask you a question. <laughs> Look how I'm sitting. Look how I'm sitting. Look how I'm sitting. With my fucking thigh showing, legs crossed. I got thigh showing, legs crossed. I got a shirt that says "Men Don't Cheat on It." <laughs> I'm drinking coffee with my pinky out. You might be onto something, Akash. You might be onto something. All I'm saying is this: I'm invested deep in this. Of course, like you love Burning Man. That's not only thing. do I love it's my one year every year, my one little week. I get away from everything, and then I come back. I could grind 20 hours a day after that piece. I get it out. But now I'm financially invested because I get the RV. You know how much the RV costs? How much? 4800 Damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're not paying that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout then out we to got. Drew. Then we got. You paying a little. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then I got. You, you're recording though, right? It's going to be like a vlog thing no, or not? No. I'm not even having wow. my phone. This is just, this is just, I don't even want my phone there. I mean, Andrew you, is a fucking great friend. Yo, come on, bro. I mean, he's paying for his shit. I'm just bringing yeah, him aboard, like, you know what I mean? But you're paying for the RV? I'm going to pay the majority of the RV. He's not going to be, like, when it was just going to be the two of us, I was going to pay two-thirds of it. I was going to only hold you accountable for what, I said, what, 1500 to you? You never told me a price, actually. You lying, son. <laughs> you did. Basically, I was going <laughs> to hold you accountable for what you thought you were going to pay going into it. Got you. And it because it, it was on me if we didn't get another person. Now it looks like we might have two more people, yet we still haven't gotten our tickets yet. Right. So. Uh, who's coming? Oh, I, well, we can't say. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. You might know these people. 
I figured. You know what I mean? It yeah. might be in it might be in a public eye. I figured. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I figured. But at Burning Man, it might be completely anonymous situation. That being said, we will quadruple the black population at Burning Man this year. Oh shit! Yes, 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 yes my yes, people. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> now he black. All of a sudden, <laughs> now he jumped back over, right? <laughs> so, we haven't gotten any tickets. It's a week away. I'm emailing like crazy. They haven't responded. You're not even worried. I'm out here buying boas. Everything, everything works out. Everything always works out. That's my philosophy on life. I really Shit no. I've been telling people that all the time. Things have a funny way of working yeah. out. I'm scared. As fuck to be going. You don't have to be scared that to be going. That experience is terrifying, but this kind of shit usually works itself out. Yeah. Oh my god. You really you really think that they'll send it to us? Yeah. You're 100 percent confident. You I'm have 100 percent confident. It's, but it's like and the Burning Man app or whatever the fuck, right? It's like their official thing. And if anything, like no. This is what I think. I I mean, this is what I would do if I was a hustler, if I was a scammer. Right? If same, I was a hustler scammer, day. what I would do I'm is... Skeptical ass. Say what? No, I was saying on the same day, just have like a fake website no. that looks like it. Oh. No, this is why it's even the next step further. This is how catastrophic my thinking is. We're talking about how we're, on a, we're going to Burning Man on the podcast. So now a motherfucker knows that we're going to Burning Man on a podcast. Mm-hmm. Okay? We haven't got the tickets yet. Right? Mm-hmm. Did they reach out to you and say they're going to send the tickets? Yes. Okay, fake website reaches out to you saying they're going to send the tickets, right? You say, hey, I haven't gotten the tickets yet. And then they go, what is your ticket number? They take that ticket number. They hit up the real website and go, yo, can you switch the address? I actually don't want my tickets to be delivered here. They get our you tickets. How, yeah, but how fast did you get that confirmation email? Like pretty quickly after you won the lot? Well, no, it is confirmed. <laughs> What I'm saying is someone is sneaking in and taking our tickets that were no, really bought and confirmed. But they would have to hit you up like right after you won the lottery. No, no, it's months later. We won the lot of months ago. Yeah. So there's plenty of time in between to be like, hey, we're about to send those tickets. You got an email afterwards saying you won the lottery though, right? Yeah. Like right after, like right? We got the confirmation <clears throat> about yeah. the tickets. What I'm saying is the tickets are real. <laughs> okay. What I'm saying is a third party came in because we've been talking about on a podcast right, right. and was like, hey, we're going to send you the tickets. So now we've started the internet. You are really overestimating the people who go to Burning Man. Son. They're yeah, either it, successful business people who don't, billionaires. probably billionaires. don't listen to your podcast or don't give a fuck about it. Right. About your little $400 tickets. <laughs> or it's abject fucking losers right. who have wasted any potential they have and have no chance of doing anything that requires thinking. And a bunch I emailed of burnouts. them directly. So how can a third party... All right, fine. Come I'm into gonna have the email faith. chain. We, we have a few more days to get these fucking tickets. Yeah. Everything's already purchased. Our flights are already purchased. Every, we got to make it, it happen. It's going to work out. We gotta, blow, we're leaving I'm Thursday gonna night. This shit up. It's Thursday. Yeah. Oh, we haven't even gotten the tickets yet. So even if they're like, yo, we send them, they're not there. Now you got three we days. Thursday or Friday? Say what? We leave Friday. Thursday, son. Oh, fuck. I got to call out Friday. No, no. It's a late night flight. It's after your work. You're saying Friday. Yeah, but call I got to call out Friday. Oh, duh. I thought the tickets were, I thought we were leaving Friday night. I don't know. We're Check. Gonna... I'm pretty sure you said Friday night. Nah, you right. It might be Friday night. Yeah. My bad, son. Anyway, sorry to, to to throw a fucking crossbow in this. Basically, what I was trying to say is the trans community has helped me in that shopping for Burning Man is much easier now that they're popular. 